I'm here with uh, J. Michael Simpson. Uh, the artist is currently on exhibit at the Caldwell Arts Council, and we're talking about his exhibit since then. Uh, hey, Michael, how you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? <laughs> doing pretty good. Now, uh, uh, you do a particular type of art. It's almost like you freeze a moment in time. And how did that come about? Quite by accident, really. Um, I, typically, I would take photographs of uh, areas that I thought were uh, interesting, and it had been particular whitewater rivers. And um, I had found the upper middle Saluda River as being a site that I could easily go to and collect images using a camera in the beginning. But I was uh, wanting to try digital photography. And I had a residency at the McCall Center for Arts and Innovation. They would loan us equipment, so I asked for the digital camera, which they needed for some exhibition documentation. They decided to loan me the video camera. Well, as I took the, took the camera, and I went down to the river and began to photograph the river, not a, really not even knowing which end of the camera to use at the particular time. But I got about 30 minutes worth of video and I took it back to my studio and started to look at it and on an editing program. And suddenly I realized I had thousands of images and not just the 36 or 72 that I would normally take. Um, that opened up a door. And the door was that I could look at any particular moment, probably down to the one twenty fourth of a second, and actually even more if I would push things. So all of a sudden I realized I could see a moment in time that I could not witness on a white water river. The river moves so quickly you can't focus on anything for, for long enough to, to really catch what was what just passed by. So remember, I'm just sitting at the edge of the river and watching the river go, and I'm looking at the turbulence that I'm seeing, and I'm catching a, a specific moment in time. And that, yeah, this idea of uh, since then, because all of a sudden, what I recorded and, and then took back to the studio, well, what I recorded was in the past, but what I made out of it was now. And whenever someone looks at the work that I make, it's now, but it's looking to when that was recorded, in which case, that's the sense then of the whole show. So it's kind of an involved kind of situation, but I just discovered the power of, of, of digital video and the editing programs that come along with it. But uh, a lot of the art is actually traditional art. I mean, it's like on canvas or on wood. Um, so that's what's kind of intriguing about it is, is you've frozen time, but then you've also transpired it or transformed it to a physical art piece. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like the traditional forms of you know painting, drawing, watercolor, and uh, and I've done all of those things. Um, and I really wasn't wanting to give up um, painting and drawing. It uh, was never my goal to use digital photography. But I have to tell you that you know to, with the video, all of a sudden I had to deal with it differently because it, it wasn't quite the same. Um, and that's why the GPS data and the timestamp are on there. To, to, to kind of alert the viewer that we no longer look at landscape, or in this case, you know, this particular moment on, the, on a river, um, the same way that we did, say, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. It's really different. The digital age has really changed how we look at our environment. Uh, we know, we can know where we are at any one moment at any time. All you have to do is plug in your, your phone and, and ask for what the GPS is. So, um, and one of the uh, things I'm thinking that answers the question. Yes, it does. And one of the things that is intriguing about your art is once you see that time code, 
or the geographical information, then there's some of the pieces that you go, well, it's not on there, but then you find it and you're like, oh, it's there. <laughs> like a, 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 at a time and place, uh, it's, it's in red and it's kind of, it's kind of hidden. T yeah, time and place, uh, which is acrylic marker. And, and that's, it, it looks, it just looks so good. It just looks so cool. I, I love that one in particular, but it took me a second. I was like, no, where's the timestamp? There's not, he's not got one. And yeah, it's in there. It's in red in the, uh, it's kind of upper towards the top. And, uh, but you don't see it right off the bat. You're looking at the artwork and you're not really seeing that timestamp. I, I, I like the idea of, of, of it being discovered. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I've tried it in all kinds of ways to where it was just you know like a loud horn going off, or or if it's you know like you say on on that particular piece, it's, it's a kind of a quiet thing running around on the surface, and you just have to find it. Um, and and I, I've, I've experimented with it all kinds of ways, and and some pieces I don't even want to put the timestamp on, or I don't want to put the GPS on. Um, some of them just seem. It's more about just time, and others seem to be more about place. And so I'll kind of lean with what I'm thinking that that um, painting or drawing, you know, which direction it seems to be headed. Yeah, and and you do so many. You've done it so many different ways and so many different pieces. You have not only the different media that you use because you've got the wood, but then you've also got paint. You've also got the acrylic markers. You've got uh, some shapes are round. Then you've also got live video elements that are going as well that you've frozen or, or, or recorded, but you're, it's, it's really just very intriguing and unique. The, you, you, somehow when I sat down in front of a whitewater river, I, I knew that was an image that I wanted to deal with. And it has sustained me since 1982. Wow, that so, long you've so been doing I've this been that using long. Using whitewater rivers as my sole source of imagery. Needless to say, you kind of want to do it differently once in a while. Oh and yeah. So, so I, I really enjoy the idea of coming up with, up with another way to present that information to reveal present that sublime moment on a river a whitewater river and i have traveled all over the country i've you know west to colorado and up into maine and, and uh, new york and massachusetts and all over the south um, looking at various rivers uh, the one that seems to be the most fruitful for me has been this one that i've discovered in the mountain bridge area uh, along the north and south carolina uh, border on a western end of our states and um i said upper middle saluda uh, i really can just sit at the water's edge and watch that water sometimes it, it really rips <laughs> so yeah and it's, it's so <laughs> enjoyable and and it's it's enjoyable for us as a visual audience too we're it's just it's an amazing moment in time it really is seeing that moment in time and it's uh, some of your work is just it's just stunning to to look at and see what you've done and and that exhibit runs at the Caldwell Arts Council through April 29th and uh, we hope that our viewers will take the time to go and see uh, these uh, since then and see these moments that have happened since then. It's, it's really intriguing and uh, just really beautiful pieces of art. So thank you so much. Well, thank you for inviting me to share. All right. Thank you so much, Michael. You, you take care. Eric. You too. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Well, that was about as awkward as you can get. But I'm known for awkward. I will take this piece of crap and make video of it. <laughs>